Hey everybody, it's Care Zero, and uh, yeah, so I had a great uh, Saturday. I don't want to go too far into it, but you know, it was it was great. So great that I'm still daydreaming about it. Like I had that post daydream type situation going on, and what I mean by post, like I had the delayed daydream. That's what I mean. Like. I had a good Saturday. It was really great to the point where, like, I'm still thinking about it two days later, even though I pretty much put it out my mind on Sunday. But today it just hit me like a <laughs> hit me like a freight train, and I was just like, "Oh, good lord! Oh, good lord!" So, yeah. But there, I have some things to talk about on this YouTube video this time. All right. First and foremost, I. I, I went tried to go back to Twitch streaming last week, and then I realized that I'm going about Twitch streaming all wrong, all kinds of wrong. Um, first and foremost, and I'm also going about this YouTube thing all wrong. Like I originally said that I want to talk to people about Common Writer, most importantly, um, but. I haven't really been doing that. Like I've barely been making videos. I've barely been streaming on Twitch. I've barely even finished Final Fantasy VII Rebirth, which is, which is really bad. <laughs> um, you know, I should be focused more on that. I mean, I'm still gonna live my life. You know, get you, go to my job, work my jobs, and all that stuff. But <sighs> I also want to play some video games. I also want to do the streaming thing. I also want to. Make YouTube videos, but I'm going to start making better YouTube videos, if you know what I mean. Um, so, I, I'm going back on the Twitch streaming. Uh, I've been watching some videos on YouTube. Uh, most importantly, uh, videos by uh, X2Shoes, if I remember correctly. I think that's what his name was. Um, but yeah, X2Shoes... Has, uh, I, I've watched some of his videos and they've given me some good advice on how to be, how to go about being a Twitch streamer. So I'm going to focus on that. Also, I recently got heavy into uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel recently. Like, a friend of mine helped me build a better deck uh, than the one I had. Because I only had a stretchy deck, but he helped me, like, build a better one. And now I'm more, like, I'm now more into the idea of building decks again like i used to play Yu-Gi-Oh back when i was in high school early um and in my like first i guess two quarter well the only <laughs> the time i spent in uh in college uh, uh savannah college of art and design so i was a huge Yu-Gi-Oh fan up until you know we got to five d's and now I just can't, I, I, I can't get <laughs> into the whole Link Monsters or uh, uh, Pendulum Monsters. I'm still trying to, so forgive me if I haven't gotten into that yet. But I want to get into that too. I want to start uh, posting some videos from there. <laughs> um, like, I had this major come from behind victory on Saturday night that was so glorious. I wanted to show everybody... the the thing but i couldn't post it on i couldn't send it on the discord where um my friend who helped me build the deck uh i know him from i couldn't even send it to him on facebook which sucked all because i it, you know the file was size was too big but that's all of me so like i said i'm gonna make a, a, a <laughs> My next big, huge YouTube video that I'm actually going to write the script for, um, in the process of trying to write the script for it now, uh, we're just going to do a whole huge, better video based off of how I got into Common Rider in the first place. So be looking out for that video. It may take a minute before I put it, post it, but I will try to make some more videos before then. However, <laughs> um, also be looking forward to towards uh me posting some uh, uh highlights from my <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh Master Duel uh, play game game gameplay and all that stuff that would be great. Um also when it comes to Twitch 
or when it comes to me streaming, uh, I might actually finally get the multi-stream back up on Streamlabs so I can stream on both Twitch and YouTube. And instead of doing what I've been doing with uh, <laughs> Final Fantasy VII Reverse, I'm just going to go ahead and skip to where I'm actually at in my main playthrough of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. Uh, that way, you know, I can get the shock fact, <laughs> uh, shock value of each new scene that I'm about to come across. I got to Cosmic Canyon. And I may, you know, go back and do some more. Uh, I may just stream hard mode to go back when I go back to all the other chapters. Uh, but it's, you know, doing two separate streams of it. Uh, two different uh, playthroughs of it all at once. Yeah, of course I've hit my, <laughs> I've hit gamer fatigue so much with that game, and I love the game. Don't get me wrong. It's just I, I can't focus on one thing, and I can't, and I'm not getting the happiness that I would normally get from playing through the game, like, like normal. Um, also, I do want to play some more um, old school video games. Like, I found a few copies of um, one of the least known, but really great uh, JRPGs of the PlayStation 2 era. And that is Shadow Hearts. Shadow Hearts, Shadow Hearts Covenant, and Shadow Hearts From the New World. From the New World is the only one I actually beat. So I actually want to go through all those games. So I might actually, uh, you know, make a video of me just kind of, well, not the full video of me playing through the game. <laughs> That's stupid. Uh, cause there are some slow bits because it's a JRPG from, from the PlayStation two days. So of course it's going to be sluggish. So I may post some highlights from that. Um, but let's get down to the brass tacks of this particular video. And that is YouTubers who are stupid and I can learn from them. Okay. <laughs> uh, so YouTubers, uh, certain YouTubers have been out there. I have huge, there are some YouTubers that I enjoy to watch all the time. Uh, I'll listen to on my drives. I will watch their videos um, as I, just before I go to sleep while I'm about to rest and relax. Or, you know, even on the long drives to whatever job that we're working on at my, at my actual job. Um, and the breaks and all that stuff. Those are Alvin Preach, of course, Atozi, um, Penguin Zero, uh, or, you know, as most of us know him, Moist Critical, and, um, a few others. But then there are dumb ones. The ones that I kind of don't actually really watch that much, um, that I did at one point, but... Some of them I did at one point, but I realized how stupid and idiotic they are. Uh, yeah, one of those is just happens to be fresh and fit, but you know, you know how they are about that shit. Anyways, uh, but yeah, uh, but recently, uh, instead of me going into the fresh and fit of it all. Uh, which, well, we all know what's going on with that. If you have been, if you happen to, uh, watch Alvin and Preach, and if you happen to be on that side of, uh, the YouTube content, we all know what's going on there, and I don't want to build into that. So, I want to talk about another YouTuber, uh, another YouTube group, sorry, uh, that has recently done one of the stupidest things they could possibly do. And that is Watcher. Uh, Watcher, I have never seen any of their content, but supposedly they were another uh, group that came out of, another big group that came from the BuzzFeed uh, YouTube uh, space. Yeah, because you remember Buzz, BuzzFeed had so many. BuzzFeed Yellow, BuzzFeed Violet, BuzzFeed, a whole bunch of stuff. Okay, I used to, you, I used to heavily watch BuzzFeed. Uh, BuzzFeed Violet, okay, where, you know, where I remember Quinta, um, Brunson getting her, um, her start. Um, I remember I also had a crush on, uh, one of the BuzzFeed, 
uh, people, Ashley, uh, before she came out. I used to ha I used to enjoy watching her videos on BuzzFeed Violet. And of course, the Try Guys also ended up on, well, also came from BuzzFeed. <sighs> yeah, let's not get back into the Try Guys situation. I actually do enjoy the Try Guys, but basically Watcher is basically, the way I see Watcher from what I've gathered is that they're basically like Try Guys understudy in a way. No offense to them. I mean, I'm pretty sure they make pretty good content, but I never heard of them until this particular situation that they're in. See, Watcher decided they were going to, uh, even though they have plenty of fans, they got plenty of views, they went too hard on the, uh, uh, they did something that a lot of these different how to make YouTube or how to make it big on YouTube or how... Or, for instance, how to make it big on Twitch that X2 Shoes was telling me. Um, he did, they, they decided to do something that they've told that X2 Shoes has taught me at this point uh, not to do, which is put too much money on uh, the behind the scenes part. You know, um, instead of figuring out exactly like a good balance between production cost and how much revenue you're getting uh they went heavy on the production costs but didn't realize they're not really getting paid like they're just paying for their production that's it so they decided that it would be smart for them to do instead of uh cutting the fats as they say because they really want to keep all the people that's on their uh production staff on <laughs> They decided they were going to uh, shut down. Well, they're going to basically move all of their content over to a pay to play website. Yeah. Basically, they decided to make a streamer site. A, a streaming site for just their content with a whole bunch of different, like, uh, different shows that have different seasons and all that stuff. And. That is the b worst idea you could possibly do. See, you got to think about the 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 fans, the people who are actually watching your content. See, I don't expect anybody to pay any money to my content. If y'all want to tip, cool, because tipping is just a... Um, if y'all want to tip, cool. If I end up getting on that, you know, getting some of that YouTube revenue money, ad revenue... Hey, I'll be even happier, but like, I'm not going to expect that to be the main thing that supports me. It might be like my little play money if I ever get to that point. Okay. And if I do make it big on YouTube and guess what? I'm just going to, I'm going to be smart about it and probably put that money towards saving to make some better content, probably get some better equipment. Who knows? I always told myself that if I ever do make it big in YouTube, I'm just going to put most of that money into making better content each time. So, and that's a cool way to think about it. But also at the same time, I have a main job. I focus on my main job. Therefore, my main job is going to be my main source of income. And I've seen a lot of different YouTubers sit there and go, hey, yeah, I'm just going to quit my job and just do youtube full-time and then you know a few months later i see another video of them saying oh goodness why did i why did i quit my name job and think i could just be a youtuber and i'm not saying it doesn't always work but it's not the best idea to go into like you should always have a backup upon your backup upon your backup and not in, and not in the red pill space type way you know don't be all thinking that <laughs> real estate is the best thing to do. You know what I mean? But, yeah, Roger, they really did something <laughs> insane by, like, deciding they were going to um, pull the, hey, we're going to move our content to this. Now, I have seen 
I, I actually read up on it because I was watching uh, a Tozy video about this. All right, so I found this article um, after looking at the Tozy video, and it's basically uh, watch a response to fan backlash over subscription service by saying new content will be free on YouTube after a month. We messed up. Yeah, they did. And pretty much the article is just pretty much saying that the three founders of Watcher Entertainment apologized to fans for their announcement that they were exiting YouTube and will put their new shows exclusively on their own subscription streaming service. In response to a torrent of negative comments, Watchers Stephen Lim, Ryan Bergara, and Shane uh, Madige, 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 I'm sorry, uh, said they were revising the plan and will now make their originals available for free on YouTube on month, uh, one month after subscribers get access to them. We messed up, they said after they posted the video. Uh, Watcher CEO S Stephen Lim said in a YouTube video posted Monday. So supposedly they posted another video. Um, and they said a whole bunch of other things. I'm not, I, I'm going to read the article later, but you know, I would advise you to look up the article. Like I said, watch your response to, uh, the fan backlash. Anywho, <laughs> regardless, it was a dumb move to make. Okay. Let's just be honest. It was a dumb move to make on their part because one, they had one thing about YouTube is that like, Heck, I know I pay for YouTube Premium. I know, I know, I shouldn't. And some people are gonna look at me like, "You pay for YouTube Premium? Why?" Well, look, I like—I don't like ads at all. I don't like advertisements. I have no problem with like somebody doing an advertisement in their video, like if it's the same person doing that advertisement. But and usually I try to skip over it. Sometimes I might check it out every once in a while, but. At the end of the day, I hate ads, and I hate YouTube ads more so than anything, uh, mostly because some of those YouTube ads do not, like, go along with the, what I'm watching, and some of those, and I really feel like Google and YouTube needs to do a better job at, like, really filtering the ads that they are willing to pay, uh, put on certain videos, if you know what I mean. Some of them feel very scammy, okay? <laughs> But regardless, that's me. But oh, but I do know that if I were to ever lose my YouTube premium service, I could still watch YouTube videos just with the ads. And that's what a lot of people like. They they have no problem being on YouTube because YouTube is very, it's free. You can have it on your phone. You can have it anywhere that you want to have it on your TV on your computer, on your phone, on your iPad. One of the t heck, even on your uh, your gaming consoles, like a Nintendo Switch or something like that. You can have YouTube for free. And most of the things that people love about YouTubers is that they always have ac they always kind of have like access to YouTube uh, <laughs> YouTube YouTuber content on that YouTuber platform. Even if, you know, like, for instance, they uh, some YouTubers actually have the whole subscriber service on YouTube, where you can subscribe to like some premium content on their, on uh, um, some paid content on their YouTube channel, but you don't necessarily have to. If you're interested in what they have to say in that premium content, you can pay to be a subscriber and you're not spending too much. But watch on the other hand, they decided they were going to try to make their own website and move away from the YouTube thing. And then make sure that, hey, you got to pay like $5.99 a month <coughs> if you want to get it for, you know, a full year. Hey, you're going to have to pay $60 a month for all the new stuff that we're going to bring out. Oh, yeah, we're going to also, and, you know, it was understood in the video. It, they also made it seem in the video that all the YouTube content that they've made up to this point in the however many years they've been a, a thing, all that's going to get paywalled as well. Not to mention they also have a Patreon, okay? Just saying. Like, I've heard this from 
everybody. And I mean everybody. I'm talking about Atozi. I'm talking about Penguin Zero. I'm talking about who was the other one I saw who did this? Who who uh talked about this? Let me look at the history of my YouTube channel. <laughs> Cause I've seen this constantly all over the place. Uh I saw it throughout Sunday as I was door dashing. Um Oh yeah, Osmond, uh, not Osmond Go, but uh, Oompaville. <laughs> Oompaville brought this up. Um, Voidzilla, okay, CoffeeZilla's other channel. <laughs> Void, Voidzilla also brought it up. CoffeeZilla actually brought it up as well. I mean, it's not, it's not funny, but it's hilarious because everybody... And I mean everybody who witnessed this particular stupid the idea. More Pegasus. Everybody who witnessed this thing. All, all are in agreement that this particular group of YouTubers. Uh, watcher. Basically completely fumbled the bag. That YouTube bag. All because they wanted to do this. Like, I mean, shoot, I get you want to make money from this, but half the part, <laughs> half the problem with you making money from it is that you put too much money in the in the production that you're not seeing a return. You're not making it nearly as much traction as the money you're spending to make these videos and make all these different like, and they're not just making videos and all that stuff they're making different like series upon series upon series upon series to make this thing a huge thing and like cool you want to make your own streaming service but that's not gonna work i mean half the reason why people get on youtube is that and half the reason why most people would probably pay for a youtube premium is because there's so much of a variety on YouTube. Half the reason why we all got into the Netflix game was because of the fact that there was a, a huge variety of all types of shows on Netflix. And then that's the reason why we started getting a little bit more upset about all these different platform streaming platforms such as Paramount Plus, Disney Plus. Uh um I can't really say too much about Amazon Prime. I mean Prime Videos the thing around time Netflix was a thing, I feel like at this point. Uh, but Peacock, looking at all mine, Peacock, Disney Plus, um, uh, uh, Paramount Plus, all these other things kept making these these streaming services, and then took all that stuff off of the YouTube thing, not YouTube, off the Netflix thing, and then Netflix is sitting there. Boosting up their, ad, um, making their um, servers even more expensive, especially the fact that you can't allow people to uh, share your Netflix anymore uh, because they have so many uh, Netflix originals. Hulu had originals. Uh, Disney Plus had definitely has originals, and they're adding more stuff to it. I mean, forget to say. I mean, I won't get. I'm, I'm not gonna hold. I'm not gonna hold. I'm not gonna lie. X Men '97 is probably the best thing on Disney Plus in a minute. Okay, and Disney Plus also has the good thing about they have so many things under their thumb, like Marvel and Star Wars, and now Doctor Who. That hey, it is a go-to place, even though. I wish Doctor Who was still on Netflix. You know what I mean? Regardless, for you as a YouTuber to think that you are on a high enough level like Disney Plus, <laughs> like Netflix, like Disney Plus, like freaking Paramount Plus, oh, oh, or any other streaming service, y'all have to be mental, okay? You have to be mental. Uh, because it doesn't always, it never really works out, especially if you don't have enough variety. If you, like, 
stick to where you getting <laughs> stick to where it's good uh the youtube atmosphere because everybody knows your content from youtube if you were to move it over to something else it it never works out well for everybody so yeah that's basically what i want to talk about because i mean like i said the youtubers like this make me realize how uh what to do when it comes to me making it bigger on youtube what not to do especially um because one thing i would never do is i would never turn into a red pill motherfucker okay Ooh, probably shouldn't say motherfucker but i'm not getting paid for this so yeah <laughs> but if it does, <laughs> this would probably be one of those uh <laughs> unmonetized videos if i ever start getting monetized but <laughs> either way i'm never gonna be a red pill person because goodness i know that's stupid as heck i mean shoot i know i know from my own experience that like most of the things that the red pillars say like fresh and fit say ain't a thing it ain't a thing i'm in a happy mood and i never had to take one sort of advice from them okay whoo and I feel good, da, 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 da. even though I'm not making that much money. But at the same time, I'm happy in where I'm at. Now, I can make more money, and I will eventually make more money, but like I'm almost thinking about like just thinking like uh, Ben Hart or Benny Hanna uh, said he does. Uh, he doesn't focus on the money. He just focuses on working, and hey, the money comes in. That's what I'm going to do. Heck, if I find a really better, if I do find a better job opportunity, yeah, I'm going to take it. But I'm also going to make sure that, you know, everything's good with my old job. My old job has treated me well these past few years. And I want it. And I'm going to stick by them as much as long as I can. But if I do find something that that does, um, it does make me feel, um, that does fulfill me in multiple ways other than just money because that's not exactly why I pick, take these jobs. I take these jobs uh, because I love the job. I love the environment. I love the people who I work that work with. And the money is just the extra thing. And you know, like That's half the reason why I still put a whole bunch of effort into my job. I love it. Okay? I'm still learning new things. And as long as I'm still learning new things, hey, guess what? I'm all for it. Maybe it will. Make, maybe it makes sense to some people, and I do still have like, you know, actual, uh, what are those things called? Ambitions and all that stuff. But, you know, I work within. I, I have those ambitions inside of what I can't, what I am at at this point. So, I don't know if that made any sense. Either way, uh, that's the video. <laughs> Um, so hopefully you guys, uh, stuck by throughout this entire video. I know it's a long video. It's a 30 minute video. If you stuck by, uh, thank you very much. If not, uh, cool beans. Uh, you probably stuck by in the first half. It's the reason why I said all my plans in the beginning. So, uh, till next time, you guys have a great day. Have a great month. Have a great year. Also, May 1st is coming up, and that's my birthday, so, hey, I'm going to try to, I, I might do something big for my birthday, uh, video-wise, YouTube-wise, or streaming-wise, but, hey, hopefully you guys show up for it. I'll be sure to post it on my, like, on the channel and everything, so, you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.